Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about multivariate accounting in accounts payable. I know that all of us know what is multivariate accounting, how to do it, but there are a lot of questions, there are a lot of, a lot of doubts, there are a lot of issues. So in this video, I will try to cover all business cases maybe you face it now or in future so let's start to talk about it our view of MBA as all of us know that multivariate accounting features allow user to create accounting entries across more than one accounting period for a single accounting event the functionality is primarily used to differ recognition of expense in cord cross multiple GL periods through which the benefits will accrue. For example, expense incurred on annual maintenance contract for equipment, rent paid in advance, etc. For creating transaction with multivariate accounting, user needs to enter start date, end date, and the accrual account. The expense also you will path it in distributions that the multi-period accounting voice will have two accounts online and the distributions the existing expense account or distribution set ways set will continue to be used to capture the account to which the expense have to be booked while another account is used to park the expense in the interim account till the entire expenditure in recognized this account is called the multi-period accrual account. For the approvals, if you ask about the approvals for MBA, for example, if you enable the approval for EB invoice and the user create MB invoice and send it for approval to the receiver or whatever to the all approvals, there is no approval because in this case you may ask the approval should be able to see multi-period accounting details in invoice distribution but approval is enabled to see that or these details of MBA in the invoice distribution it's until now it's a bug maybe it will be resolved as soon as possible and also you can track or monitor Oracle uh, Oracle uh, community or SR to check if it's resolved or not setup MBA that as you know that there is no setup required to use MBA or multivariate accounting feature system automatically considers an invoice for multivariate accounting if the multivariate start date end date are provider either invoice lines or distributions and this is very important point either invoice lines or distributions because some users in some cases he enters the invoice and make validate and then come back to the invoice lines to enter the MBA details without update the distribution in this case the MBA will not work we will talk about it later so again no setup required as you know there are three fields there in invoice if i can show it you as you see here these are distributions or lines start date end date and accrual account and also if it's not appearing you can go to view and the columns and make appear for these three columns or three fields the only setup which you might want to change is the proration formula used in the seeded accounting rules to recognize the expenses as you know from e-business until fusion the same concept is there there is no any changes there are two proration formulas are seeded by oracle where one in is to prorate the expenses based on number of days and the other one is for proration based on number of periods so it depends on your requirement or on your business needs which formula or proration formula formula you are going to set up either number of days or number of periods this is the only setup of MBA as you know this is the seeded or this is the default by 
Oracle in case of you need to make any changes so you will need to custom and also we will talk about it later to custom the journal line type rule to match or matching with your requirement the seated accounting rules used which one of these proration based on number of periods so by default if you go to or uh, uh, log into your system and to create MBA the seeded accounting or the default seeded accounting rule is proration based on num or number of periods how does multi-period accounting expense amortization work in Oracle Vision Payables? After January release 12 PB and release 13, in order to be able to, to see the prorate formulas, you have to set up good navigate to set up and maintenance, search for manage journal line rules payables, query for journal line rule multi-period item expense recognition. This is how to check or how to see the prorate convention rule. As an example, as you see here, there are two formula prorate by number of days. It's prorate enter the amount by the number of days in period for multi period accounting entries. The formula, as you see here, multi period accounting original enter the amount multiply last day of multi period GL period minus default start date plus one slash deferral end date minus deferral start date plus one. This is prorate by number of days. For example, if I have in August, for example, 30 days, the amount which will be prorate in August, and it will not be the same the prorate amount or the prorate entered the amount, for example, in September or October, because September the, in October there are 31 days. But in August, for example, there are 30 days. So in this formula, if you are going to make or to consider rate by number of days, you will consider this formula. The other one, as you know, that rate by number of periods, this is prorate enter the amount evenly across each period for MBA or multi-period accounting entries. The formula is the same, multi-period original enter the amount, multiply number of GL periods, deferral start date and the last day of multi-period GL period and number of GL period as a deferral. This is of, for example, if I entered 12,000 and this 12,000 uh, will be rate from January to April. So this 12 will be uh, divided by four months. So for each month will be 3,000 and so on. It's will not consider the days in the months. It considers how many months is there, how many total amount is there. So divided by the total amount, divided by how many months the users entered in the our two fields, start date, end date. And this is by default is seeded is by default. It's working on rate by number of periods, not days. Again, if the user want to change the prorating allocation, they need to copy and create, as you know, like the SLA concept or uh, accounting rule concept, you have to copy the seeded one of Oracle and create a new journal line type rule and the change formula in accounting attributes, assignment, enter amount and the source. By default, prorate by number of periods. In case of you need to custom one, you have to copy and create a new journal line rule with changing the formula in accounting attribute assignment. Old journal line rule after that should be inactivate and the new journal line rule should be used in journal line rule set. This is by default or by logic. Once you copy and create a new journal line rule, you have to inactivate the default one or seeded one or whatever and add or using the new journal line rule, which you already defined as a customized to match with your requirement. 
Basic accounting of MBA, as you know, for example, if we have invoice, three months lease in entered in January, the expenses or the total expenses is 12,000. And uh, it covers rental period from January to March. So first journals will be between the prepaid expense like our accrual account and the liability of supplier account. By the total amount, prepaid expense will be 12 and liability 12. For each month from January to March, you will need to create a multi-period accounting uh, schedule process. And this is the first or this is the our uh, one step of our how to close the periods in uh, payables cloud. So for each month, you will see that this prepaid expense is deducted by the amount for each month. For example, one journal for January, it will be 4,000 and 4,000 and 4,000 for February, 4,000 for March, because the total will be 12. And this is what I, I said before that this is a pro rate uh the prorate uh, formula here depends on by number of periods here we have three periods and here we have total expense is 12 so the formula will make 12 uh, divided by three months so for each month will be 4000 and these journals will be generated after you run multi-period accounting recognition or multi-period uh, accounting uh, entries for by the end of each month. Sometimes you make changes to MB accounting as the related attributes. For example, if you extended, because we said the, the last one is the uh, up from January to March, but the user after that he need to extend it. The end date will be April instead of March. 30 April or whatever instead of 31 of March. So in this case, what is the, the reflected or what is the affecting of this in our MBA? The difference will be reflected in February because January has final has been final accounting. For example, I make this invoice from January to March and I create multi-period accounting for January. After that, the users need to to extend it from 30 of first of uh, 31 of March to 30 April, and the January already final accounted. So in this case, the difference, the depending on these changes or depending on this extended, will be reflected in February and the future accounting entries also. So the future accounting entries will be, as you see here, instead of or four or four thousand, February will be two thousand, and March will be three thousand, and the April three thousand. Why February will be three two thousand? Because if you remember, the last one here four thousand. <clears throat> Once you add one ex one uh, month as per our scenario here so four months is twelve thousand divided by four months so every month will be three thousand instead of of four thousand so once january is finished and the finally accounted it take four thousand but january and february once you add april it must be the total how many six thousand three and three now january take four so february will took two so here two and january four it will be six and the other six for march three thousand and for april three thousand so there is one question here that can i extend the invoice or the date after i make it yes you can change it or you can extend it but try if it must be not paid at least if it's final accounted and as you as you see here the january has been final accounted you can do how you can check this if you check my screenshot here this is one invoice we already created before and this is there are two the mba details in two level in invoice in line and the distributions here this is a 
header or the lines in the lines as you see start date and the end date is not and the accrual account also you cannot change it you cannot make any changes in the line but if you go to distribution level once you click on distribution the manage distributions you will find the start date and the end date is already editable so you can come here to extend it from here from december to make it january 2025 so the only changes you can extend you can also decrease for example i i make invoice from january like this one from january or from march to december after july the contract has been expired or cancelled so how i stop the create accounting of multi period accounting of this invoice you can go to the same invoice click distributions come to the end date and put it July instead of December so the system will know that this invoice the multi-period accounting or MBA of this invoice stopped until July and the next period of August whatever and uh, uh, September October blah 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 it will not create any MBA for this invoice because the users come to the distributions and end dated until july another question for the cancel if you have invoice for two lines one lines for a normal line without mba details and the second line for mba details and you need to cancel or make any changes don't discard the normal lines if you need to cancel these lines it's better to cancel the whole invoice or the full invoice and re-enter again please don't discard or cancel the default lines without mba details in case there are another lines with mba details the other option or the other questions is like uh, for the opening balance of mba before we continue As all of us know that the opening balance, for example, I'm going to make upgrade, I'm going to make or to implement Oracle Cloud, payable, whatever, and I'm going to transfer or convert all the invoices from the old system or from archive, from manual uh, booking, whatever, to Oracle systems. In this case, there are a lot of invoices which is related to MBA. For example, if I have one invoice for MBA invoice from for example January 2023 to December 2024 for example it's around 100,000 I am here talking about owning balance of MBA invoice If you are going to make a convert of this invoice, for example, from old invoice, from manual invoice, whatever, to Oracle Cloud, so you have to follow these steps. In case of the first period of your new cloud or new implementation will be January 2024, July, whatever, in this case, I will consider that the first period in our uh, new implementation or new system will be January 2024 so in this case how to convert this invoice to the new system the Oracle recommend that you can make this invoice you will calculate how many amount is recognized from this total amount in the old system here old system and here new system here I am going to start from 1st of January 2024 so by default it will be 50,000 is recognized and 50,000 is still not recognized it's recognized and here still not recognized so I have to 
convert whatever the amount which is still not recognized to the new system but in this case you may face that this the total amount must be converted the total amount must be transferred to the new systems because a lot of uh, scenarios like this invoice is still not paid this invoice must be shown in the uh, supplier statement blah 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 so how to transfer also the amount which is still not recognized in this case you will make a new invoice in new system with two lines one lines as a default line default line default line means without MBA details and the amount will be 50,000 the other line or the second line will be MBA line with MBA details with 50,000 also and you will make a start date as first of January 2024 and end date will be uh, 30 first of December 2024 if so it's just by logic how many amount is recognized it will be in a, in a separate line as a default line without any MB details how many amount is not recognized and do it like this case this is just some tricks for about opening balance and whatever but the other invoice is recognized is not recognized is paid so once you created in the in the new system you can make a dummy payment to show that this invoice is paid because it's already paid in the old uh, old system or whatever and there are a lot of scenarios of the opening balance but in here just i need to hint to make hint that how to make opening balance for mba let's continue our slides uh, this is how to make changes again you can make changes as i told you just to go to distributions and either extend or stopped or terminate or uh, in case of expire the contract blah 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 and this is also maybe all, all of us facing like this case how to cancel the how to stop the how to extend and so on before i'm going to also there are another scenarios of encumbrance encumbrance means i make mba with a one line this one line under our budgetary control or these distributions to consume the budget for example every time i make a transaction for this account or for these combinations the system will calculate where it check is there any check the fund the fund is there fund is not there and blah 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 in case of you are going to make mba for one account under budgetary control and this the date as the start date and the end date of this invoice of MBA will be covered two years and you already uploaded the budgetary for example as a parent lever or child lever or whatever yearly or monthly in this case the MBA will consumed the total amount one time for example if I upload as you see here for this combination last one 5833.33 as a budget amount this budget amount i upload it as a yearly yearly means from january to december the total amount is as you see here and i go to make an invoice this invoice for the same good combination and i uh, consumed for example 4000 this 4000 the budget affecting here in this MBA invoice it will consume the 4000 in the period which you already created this invoice it will not consumed every month or it will not deduct the budget by monthly and I think this is facing it's it's a big issue for all of us because 
as I told you in some cases the total amount here of this uh, budget it's covered two years it covers three years or whatever why the system consumed or make a check fund for this amount which is not only cover this year it's cover only two and three years which will be in the futures in the current period for example here i make four thousand if you go to fund reservations for our good combination you will find requested four thousand and the available how much one thousand is three three point three three the net between these and 4000 this plus this it will give you 5833.33 until now i'm uh, i don't know any solution for this case but maybe maybe you create either recurring journal in gl or recurring invoice for example you can make uh, you can buff here any domain distribution account but it will be wrong or what i i make that every month this account here is deducted the four thousand one time instead of monthly wise so until now you can think to cover this amount which is deducted in one month instead of for example 12 months or 13 months or whatever to cover it either by recurring journal as a budget journal in gl to again uh, increase the amount of this amount or this good combination or to uh, make a recurring invoice to again as a credit memo or whatever to increase the budget of this uh, code combination let's continue important nuggets of MBA that end date cannot be changed to date which is earlier than the last recognition journal date for example if I make uh, uh, start date is January and last date is March and uh, January and February is recognized you can make uh, you can it change in the date to be uh, January because February already recognized so only you can make it March and April and so on multivariate accounting start date and end date will not be editable after expense are completely recognized and this is by logic once you it's completely recognized you can you cannot update the start date and the end date but if it's still in process of recognition you can update it any changes to multivariate account accrual account will not be considered after the invoice is accounted again as you show before this our screenshot the multivariate accrual account will not be changed or will not be considered after the invoice is accounted Cancellation of invoice line or distributions will always be accounted on the first day of the next open period after the last multi-period accounting recognition journal date. This is applicable irrespective of whether the last NBA date is in open or closed period. It's always advisable to run multi-period accounting program as a part of closed process for payable transactions are entered, counted, and transferred to GL and maybe maybe you can make a schedule for this scheduled process of multi-period accounting program to uh, run it uh, monthly one time by the end of each month to uh, generate all of the accounting of which of invoices which is related to mba a lot of question of mba how to change distribution segment on multi-period invoice distribution segment not a start date not end the date once MBA recognition started, it is not possible to change the invoice distribution. Available option is to discard or cancel the line and re-enter it. MBA details will not be entered also at two levels, as I told you, invoice line, invoice distribution level. Multivariate accounting functionality when creating MBA invoice with a start date in a closed period, what the system will do it by the logic if it's logged that its functionality the start date cannot be or oh, sorry can be in closed period for MBA the system should check to see if that period is closed and if so it should create the accounting entries for this closing period 
or any closed period in the next open accounting period. For example, I make invoice for MBA from January to March. But this January and February, for example, is closed in A, B, or G, L. So the system will do it, will do, it will accept the user to do it from January to March. But when you create accounting, the accounting of January and February will be showing or in or will be creating in March because January and February is closed. In case MBA not getting backed after invoice is validated, as you, as I told you, you have to check these uh, steps or these issues that the users sometimes create invoice and validate invoice. After validate, he enter MBA on invoice lines without enter the MBA on invoice distributions. In this case, after that, he run create an MBA for invoice. Invoice not getting backing MBA because again business impact that cannot create MBA accrual and recognition entries. So, so the solutions after validating MBA will not be identified if user entered MBA values at only line level. The MBA details don't flow to distributions if the invoice is validated. So in this case, the users need to create, for example, invoice validated and enter MB line in, the, in, in uh, MB details in lines and enter MB details in distributions. Again, run create accounting for MBA and create multi-period accounting process and MB accrual and recognition entries will get created. But by default or by logic or whatever, the normal steps you have to create if, if you are going to create MBA invoice that you have to create invoice and enter the distribution details and enter MBA details. In this case, before the validations, it will reflect in distributions. But in case of you create and validate and enter the details in lines only, it will not reflect it in invoice distributions. In some cases also, they need to make MBA accounting on a PO matched invoice. Solution is, is when an invoice is matched to BO, if accrual at receipt is enabled at the BO, the MB fields are not enabled. Again, you have to check accrual at receipt. Is it enabled? MBA fields will not be enabled. This is intended as for accrual reconciliation. The accrual account from BO has to be debited in payable. So for a service BO where accrual at receipt is not enabled and the MBA to be enabled on the BO matched invoice, you have to follow this, that match invoice to BO. Once you match it, you can update the multi-period accounting related fields as a start date, end date, and accrual account in distributions or enter identifying BO on invoice header to get the supplier details at line level enter invoice lines with BO details and the multi-period accounting related fields. For example, I just need to show you this here. Here you have to create service BO. This is like a screenshots. This service BO without accrual at receipt uh, disabled. Then this is the schedule or the distributions. The distribution will be this account which will be a, a debit or expense account as you see here. When you make a match invoice to the same BO, you can go to, this is the, you can enter the multi-period accounting details for start date, end date, and accrual account, either lines and distributions. After that, the accounting entries will be, as you see here, this is our default line expense or the accrual account, which you pass it here this one and this is the liability account after if months it will be deducted from accrual account to our expense account which you pass it where on bo level if you check this 7210 you will find here 7210 this is the expense every every month will be recognized take from our accrual account as you see here this is how to make or MBA reflected with BO matched that accrual at receipt must be disabled. What else? How MBA works for second religion if you implement uh, primary religion and secondary religion, create multi-period accounting must be run separately. 
for primary ledger and secondary ledger because secondary ledger as you know maybe we have different accounting period or status than the primary ledger and the process is submitted by GL period set up journal conversion rule with you have to select because in, in one of the steps to implement secondary ledger is journal conversion so in this you have to set up journal conversion rule with the source variables category other transfer journal to this secondary ledger is yes after setup please retest to run create multi-period accounting in primary ledger the journal in created where in primary ledger again post the journal in primary ledger the multi-period journals hasn't been transferred to secondary ledger like other journals automatically run create accounting for payable in primary ledger as you asked the journal still will not be transferred to secondary run create where mba accounting in secondary ledger the journal will be created in secondary ledger successfully this is how it works for secondary ledger mba how to increment auto increment period in create mba process for example i uh, I create one invoice from January to uh, October or to November and I didn't create uh, multi-period accounting uh, schedule process until now and currently we are in October so how to uh, increment this to, to tell the MBA or uh, multi-period uh, create accounting to increment January run from January until for example October I think it's not possible that you have to run it process by monthly wise for example each time you have to uh, enter uh, this is for January this is for February this is for March this is and so on as you see seeded MBA process do doesn't have capability to change the period up in schedule repeats of the process here for example for January to run once per month and per period for January period schedule one run for February one run March one run there are also some enhancement requests you can follow or you can like and subscribe in Oracle uh, customer connect to uh, to increase the likes and subscribes so maybe Oracle uh, yeah, and do it or achieve that uh, enhancement or achieve that requirement in the future's uh, what's new Oracle Cloud. Uh, is there any report to show details? Again, there is no until now, there is no any report as such to provide the details of amortization, the otherwise, or the workaround that the data is available in this table XLA underscore MBA underscore distributions. You can contact with your technical team or whatever to, um, the, to build a report depends on these uh, tables and you can also use uh, ask your technical team if you don't have any technical uh, background to make a link between these two xla underscore mba distributions and ab invoice distribution alls to collect the mba details and to show you uh, mba invoices with amortization schedule uh, what is the start date what is the end date how many uh, amount is recognized how many amount is, is not recognized what is the accrual account of this invoice what is the uh, distribution as expense account of this invoice and all of the details of MBA invoices I if you have any questions you can write in descriptions uh, and thanks for watching